The movie starts and a man named Sepala is shown in the era of 1900 is shown. It was normal to travel on sleds in that era and sled rides were used to shift things from one place to another. For this, special dogs were used. Sepala was also a sled rider and has a nice breed of dogs. They make their travel in task easy. One day, a puppy was born and it was a puppy of Siberian Husk. These dogs are used to being weak and Sepala thinks it is useless. As he can't take this dog on a sled ride with other dogs. He wants to give this dog to someone else but his wife doesn't want this. She keeps all the dogs like her kids. She named it Togo and says I love it like my kids. They are near my heart and I don't want to make them separate from me. We should give Togo a chance and it is younger now. We should not take out any conclusion soon about it. Sepala doesn't want this but even then he agrees with his wife. Togo was growing elder with the passage of time and it was naughty. Sepala was annoyed by it. His wife always asks him to take Togo with him on a sled ride. He says to his wife that it is weak now and it can't survive on a sled ride. Sepala gives Togo to his friend but his wife knows none will keep it because it is naughty. It happens the same the next day, his friend brings Togo back. He says this dog of yours is naughty and I can't keep it with me. His wife smiles at this because it was naughty and whenever Sepala takes his dogs on the ride Togo goes behind him. Even he ties it in a fence but it runs from there while digging the earth. It runs after Sepala and it enjoys with other dogs arriving there. Due to it, Sepala's practice ruins what was he teaching his dogs. One day it falls into the water and Sepala was fed up with its acts. He locks Togo in a room but it moves out from there somehow. One day Sepala convinces his female friend to keep Togo but she was strict and says Togo has to stay in the room. Sepala doesn't have any problem with it and leaves while dropping Togo there. After a short time, Togo breaks the mirror of the window and comes out, and reaches Sepala. He becomes worried seeing it and notices its hands are also injured and they were bleeding so he makes Togo sit on the sled for taking it home. Togo doesn't want to sit on it and wants to run with the other dogs. After trying hard when Togo didn't sit on the sled Sepala ties it with the other dogs. After moving at a distance he notices Togo is energetic and runs speedily than other dogs so he ties it in front. Togo takes them home soon with its speed and Sepala becomes happy and shocked to see Togo and tells his wife how speedily Togo ran. He even tells his wife it is a lead dog and was becoming happy to see Togo. His wife also becomes happy to see it. Later, Sepala wins many sled races with the help of Togo. They become famous gradually. The time passes like this and now 12 years have passed. Togo is shown elder and one day it returns to its city and discovers that disease has been spread in the city named Diphtheria and it was affecting the kids. The kids were losing their life to this disease and everyone was worried. Mayor calls a meeting and Sepala goes there and he tells them there is an antidote to this disease. It is 600 kilometers far from Nevada but it is dangerous to go there as a huge storm is arriving. Mayor asks Sepala about the weather and he tells when I was returning the dogs were panicked to see the weather Togo was also getting panicked and it has done this after many years we should be concerned if it is concerned. Later, he leaves, and when he comes out a doctor asks for the lift. Sepala drops him at the hospital on his sled. Sepala sees many kids are sick in the hospital and their lives will be in danger if they will not brought the medicine. Sepala gets lost in his thoughts and tells his wife that when he gets home, he will go take medicine. He says I will take Togo with me but his wife says it is now 12 years old and you said it is not strong. The weather is also not good and I don't want you to be a reason for its death. Then you devote your entire life to the fact that Togo died as a result of your actions. Sepala doesn't want to go without it and he leaves with Togo while saying goodbye to his wife. As Sepala was moving with his dogs the storm was also moving forward. The wind was so hard that Sepala couldn't see anything. 
Togo was in front and Sepala was asking his dogs to move forward. They have to return soon while taking medicine from Nevada and he was on a deep slide with his dogs and Togo stops there. Sepala couldn't understand anything and finds a huge ditch and Togo has seen this terrible ditch even in his storm. It stops because of it and Sepala was saved along with his dogs due to it. Meanwhile, Sepala sees Togo's foot was injured and it was bleeding as well after traveling the whole day. Sepala and his dogs reach an outpost. There was a lady doctor at that outpost and tells Sepala that Togo is now 12 years old and now it has become weak. This long journey isn't good for Togo but even then Sepala and his leading dog Togo move forward. The condition of the kids was getting worse in the hospital and Sepala was moving forward with his dogs. He was taking shortcuts for reaching his point soon. He sees there is a terrible frozen lake and the storm was also moving towards them from the other side. Sepala doesn't get scared and asks his dogs to move forward on the frozen lake that was moving with their steps. The dogs were moving forward and somehow cross the lake. After traveling the whole day they reach a check post and take a rest there. Sepala's wife goes to the mayor and tells the medication has been sent from Nevada and Sepala will get them on his way. He is moving forward through shortcuts and his travel will be longer if he will not get those medications. Sepala is shown reaching a check post after traveling for a whole day. Togo's condition was worse but even then it wants to move forward and lead. Now it happens the same Sepala was moving from his shortcut. And if he will not find the man bringing medicine from Nevada. So his travel will become difficult for him. Sepala gets tired and his eyes were closing but his dogs were moving forward like electricity and man is shown came from Nevada. He has the medicine and stops but Sepala was moving forward with his dogs. The man calls him but Sepala was lost and the hard wind was also blowing as well. Due to it, Sepala couldn't hear that man's voice but Togo has heard something and the man was thinking Sepala didn't hear him and moved forward. The man sees Sepala was returning because Togo has stopped there and Sepala has the medicine for which he has come so far. Now they stop at a check post and his friend asks him to leave Togo here. I have lost my many dogs in those terrible storms. I don't want you to lose your lovely dog Togo but he refuses and says Togo is my lead dog and I can't travel without it. Sepala again starts traveling with his dogs. The lake appear in front of them which he has crossed with his dogs yesterday. Now the lake was moving but if they will not go by it their journey will increase one more day. Sepala decides they will move forward on this way and asks his dog Togo to move forward and now his dogs were crossing the lake speedily. Now the water was also coming out of the lake and they will be ended if they will be drowned in it. Because of the speed of Togo and other dogs they somehow reach the shore. The piece with which they will move forward the piece moves and separates from the shore. Sepala throws Togo to the shore and asks it to pull that ice piece. Togo was injured but even then it applies its force. It takes them to the shore and now they come out of the frozen lake. They were trapped, and Sepala miraculously saves his dogs and transports them to a checkpoint. The lady doctor was also there and seeing Togo her eyes filled with tears. She says Sepala your dog is dying and its condition is worse. She also makes Sepala upset as he also loves Togo then after spending a night when he starts his journey he ties Togo behind. It was sick and can't travel. Even then Togo stands at its position and Sepala understands Togo doesn't want to take a rest. It wants to stand in its place. It wants to end its journey. It ties Togo in front and they start their journey. After a few hours, the storm becomes terrible that Sepala can't see anything. He couldn't see the way and goes to Togo and says I can't see further. Now you have to show us the way and take us to the next post. Sepala covers his face and Togo takes them forward. Moving at a distance Togo gets tired and sits there being tired. Sepala goes to it and says you have to stand up and we have to take that medicine. We will be ended here if we will not move forward to our destination. 
Togo wasn't responding him. Sepala was happy that he escaped because of Togo but it wasn't responsing him. Then a man comes to him with a lantern which means Togo has done its job here and has conveyed Sepala to the check post and he becomes happy to see this. Everyone was saved because of Togo. Now they go inside as Togo's condition wasn't well and there was a man sent by Sepala's wife to take that medicine while reaching the outpost. So he will return soon to the place where kids are sick. They take a rest at night. The man moves in the morning while taking the medicine. After a short time, he reaches the city gnome where a reporter was waiting for him. As this news has spread in New York that a man has gone on a long journey for bringing medicine. The reporter was thinking maybe the man has returned with his team. Now the reporter prints that man's name in the news except for Sepala. Sepala's wife was disappointed and Togo was also recovering now he reaches Nome with his dogs. Many people come there for thanking Sepala and his dogs. The kids also come here who were recovered because of Sepala. A girl arrives and asks while seeing Togo is it dying? Sepala moves out of his house hearing this and his wife moves behind him he says to his wife Togo is in this condition because of me. It was of 12 years and I shouldn't take it with me. His wife asks is there anyone except for Togo who can do this? Sepala becomes silent as he knows none could do this except for Togo. Sepala is again shown going for practice the next morning with his dogs. Seeing this. Togo also wants to go with other dogs and doesn't want to stay at home. Sepala understands it doesn't want to pull sleds but wanted to spend time with Sepala. After some time, Togo recovers and he used to go on a long journey with his wife and Togo. Togo have some kids after two years and many mushers come to buy them. The breed of those puppies was given a new name Sepala Siberian. Later, Togo died in 1929 but Sepala uses to train the dogs. Togo was a famous dog in his city. This was Togo's story. Togo has demonstrated in this story that dogs are the most devoted creatures on the planet. Here this movie ends.